What's up, YouTube? I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Without further ado, let's get into this makeup tutorial look right here. I love burgundy. I love burgundy. I love burgundy. So I hope you guys are ready to see this look and also recreate it yourself. So without further ado, I hope you guys are ready to see this tutorial. Sit back, watch, get your tea, and let's get this thing started. Alright Freedom Army, so let's go ahead and get into this video. So first I'm going to start by prepping the face with Murad Hydro Dynamic Quench Essence. Also to save time, I went ahead and done my brows. So now I'm going to kind of carve them out with the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit Concealer in the color Chocolate. Next is the foundation. The foundation of my choice is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in number 360. Alright, so after blending all that out, I'm going back into my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. And I'm also going to be using the Smashbox Priming Oil. I'm going to put some drops in the color Chocolate and also Ash Brown and using that for my highlight and contour. Alright, so I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to blend that right on out. Make sure you guys damp it first. Next, I'm picking up the RCMA powder and I am going to bake this mug, honey. Notice that I'm starting away from the eye and then building the product to the eye. It's because I don't want to kind of pack the product on underneath the eye and it starts creasing because I'm very oily. All right, so while I'm baking, I'm going to pick up the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer with the collection from Fergie and I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the eyes all right so the first eyeshadow that I'm popping on is from Stella it is the color wheat I'm going to pop that on the upper crease and the brow bone next I'm going to take the color MS40 from Stellaza and I'm going to pop that into the crease. It's just pretty much just a matte brown eyeshadow. All right, next, so I'm gonna go in with the MS47 matte eyeshadow from Stellaza. This is pretty much like a burnt brown-ish red, kind of a brick color, building up a transition. All right, so to complete that transition, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever eyeshadow in M842. This is pretty much like a plum burgundy kind of color. Next, I'm gonna take the M100 from Makeup Forever, which is a matte black eyeshadow, and I'm going to kind of pre-carve out the eye shape. All 
taking my MAC 224, I'm going to go back and blend that out with a little bit more of the M842 from Makeup Forever. Alright, so it's the moment you guys have been waiting for. The Aquamarine Eyeshadow from Stila. So I'm just going to simply pop that right on the crease and then give it a nice blend. All right, next I'm going to pop on my gel liner. This is from Bobbi Brown in the color Steel Ink. I'm just going to simply do a wing liner, then set it with the Makeup Forever M100 eyeshadow to make sure that it doesn't budge throughout the day. All right, I'm going to use my YSL bronzing powder to sweep off the bake and also to set the rest of the face. Alright, so let's get back into this eyeshadow game. So I'm going to take the color MS48, which is a darker brick burgundy color, and I'm going to use that to smudge on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to follow behind with it with the M100 for Makeup Forever, closer to the inner rim. All right, so I'm going to blend those two colors out to make sure they marry together. All right, so it's time to put on mascara. Two mascaras from Tarte. And also my favorite lashes, which are from Broadway, the Wispies. And then last but not least, popping on my favorite lipstick. This is NYX Liquid Sway in the color Cherry Skies. Alright, so to top off and complete the look, we're going to be using some of Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics with a collaboration in Jacqueline Hill. Yes, this does work for deeper skin tones. <laughs> But anyways, we're gonna pop that on the cheeks, blend her out, and glow up, honey. Also, don't forget to set that mug for the rest of the day. Okay, so this completes the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so happy with the way this look turned out. To be honest, I slightly winged it just a tad bit, but I knew exactly what I wanted to do. The color that I wanted to pop on the lid was a different color, but this one makes it even more glamorous, pretty. This aquamarine from Stella is so pretty. Okay, so I have a quick little announcement as well to why I got, got you guys here towards the end. We zoom in, zoom in, honey. Boom. I am at 194 subscribers. 194 subscribers. It's happening, like slowly but surely it's happening. So for me to have 194 subscribers and I'm hitting my one year mark and I suspected at least like 60 subscribers, I'm doing very well. I'm, I'm happy. Well, so, if you're like these beauty groups, post my video on the beauty groups, of course. Post this one, of course. I think this is my best one by, by far. But um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here because I don't want to talk too long. I really appreciate all of you guys, all 194 of you, and also 4,000 of you guys who watch my video already. I appreciate you guys as well, too. If you guys are not a subscriber, definitely subscribe so you guys can be a part of the Freedom Army family and remain, you know, with your boy for all of these crazy prop to tutorials. Without further ado, I'm just going to say see you guys later and have a good day. Peace out.